Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my second video. As you can read the title, this title is about my tattoos and what they mean to me. So let's get started. I have about 13 tattoos and I'm not done yet. I plan on getting maybe like three more tattoos. So we'll see. And I'll make a second video about my tattoos if I update you with some more. So my first tattoo is about Hello Kitty. I love and I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. I have a whole bunch of Hello Kitties. I have a brown one for us brown skin girls. I have a white one, the original one. I have a multicolor one. I got a purple one. I got an orange one. And I have a one, a white one, but it has like sprinkles on it to represent like their 40th birthday, I believe. I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty and I'll never stop loving me some Hello Kitty, which is well, I got tattooed on me and I'll never give it covered up because I do not regret any tattoo I got My next tattoo is this one right here. This one's a cover-up because as you know My other one I tattoo I have is hearts and I had it wrapped around here thinking that that's gonna be cute But sometimes when you get tattoos Certain areas might not work out for you. So for me, that's what happened. And I had to get my nice, beautiful rose to cover up the hearts on top because they reacted different from these right here. My next tattoo is the cherry blossoms and it looks like an M, but it represents hello it represents it represents um Scorpios, which my birthday is next month. I'll be 27 years old in 37 days. So I love the whole thing about, you know, black don't crack because that truly does mean something to me. Because guess what? When I'm like 45, I'm going to look like I'm 25. So guess what? Hey, kudos to me. My next tattoo is my family tattoo. It's an anchor and I have a love, um, a family scripture. So it says family with my anchor. And then it says a circle of strength founded on faith where life begins and love never ends. Family is very important to me. I hope to one day have my own family soon one day. So family is like number one to me. My next tattoo is a locket and a key, and the key says dream. So here's my locket right here, and then it have a key right here, and it says dream. Because you have, for me, it's like, represents, like, I have the key to my dreams, and also the key that one day I'm going to open up my own hair salon, because like I told y'all in my last video, I love to do hair. So yes, one day I'm praying on it that I get my own salon. My next tattoo, it says faith. You have to have faith in everything that you do. So I have faith that one day my song will be booming and I'm going to be opening that thing up and it will be successful, okay? My next tattoo, it has like, you know, when you go to the hospital and they have the little lines going up and, you know, if you die, go flat. So I have a tattoo that says believe in yourself, but it also says be you. Because at the end of the day, you need to remember that you are a very important person and that you should always believe in yourself and don't let nobody else tell you different because at the end of the day, it's important that you believe in yourself. So it says be you right here. I absolutely love it. My next tattoo is this one right here. It says Marguerite Garner, which is my dad's mom. I love her to death. That is my heart. I love her so much. And it also has like the little polish dripping out, out the bottle. When I was little, no matter what, before I left my grandma's house, I had to get my hair. I had to get, excuse me, not my hair. I had to get my nails painted red no matter what because my grandma she had her nails painted red so <laughs> i had to be like my grandma and get my nails painted too had to go back to school with red pink nails thanks to my grandma and she no matter what she always painted my nails red so i had to get that you know because that's one of those good memories i have with my grandma she's still alive I love her to death. And my next tattoo is my mom's mom. Her name is Mary Louise Bush. My grandma's one of them hat ladies. When she go to church, she get to have her big old hat and her lips to match. And she stay with a new purse. I don't even have many purses as my grandma. And my grandma has 
a lot of purses. So that's what my tattoo is right here. And you see the little purse. My next tattoo is my lotus flower. They have different meanings for lotus flowers. They have a purple one, they have a white one, and they have a red one. And I chose the red one. The red one means open-hearted, loving, caring, compassionate, and those are all that of me. So this one's right here, and I put it underneath my boobs right here. And have to represent for us females that, you know, ain't got much up top. You know, if you ain't got much, why don't you just dress it up? And that's what I did. You know, you got to dress them up. Sorry, but you got to. Only us little, um, only, only us females with little ones, they know what I'm talking about. My next tattoo is a magnolia flower uh, for my mom, which has her name on it. And, you know, growing up, my, grand my mama was obsessed with um magnolia flowers she used to have like a little picture frame that had magnolia flowers in it and that's what i have and my mom's name is redette so maybe you'll see her in one of my videos and that's what that has right here my next tattoo is of course representing hair i have like a blow dryer on it and it says pain is beauty and it's also in like a dream catcher and it's like in the middle of my back so i want y'all to see that one and you know as a cosmetologist i cannot get a tattoo and not have one that represents my career and what i do so gotta show y'all that one it's right here and it says Beauty is pain. I absolutely love it. I even had to go back and have them add a couple things to it. So, you know, I absolutely love my tattoo. My next tattoo I have is um my love tattoo. I absolutely love love. You know, if you're a female, you know, when we love, we love hard. So, I have um headphones. I have a microphone and I also have like a rose and like music notes because y'all don't know, but I do love to sing. Maybe in one video I'll sing, you know, maybe a video I'll post will be one. Um, also, you know, music. I love music and I love to like just sit for hours listening to music and like listening to like, I'm um, thinking about like dance moves, like secretly. I would love to be like a dancer and be dancing back up and like have my own studio. Like I absolutely love to dance. I was on the dance team when I was like in eighth grade. And then, you know, like I said, I love, I'm a woman. I love hard. So I do have like a love scripture on me. It ain't just some random thing. It's a love scripture. And I'll get up and show you that one. And then the one after that is um a black girl with her eyes closed and it's just from, like from the chest up and to me it just represents what i think of myself what i believe in as a, a young black woman and you know i'm strong i'm independent and you know you know i just never give up so you know to me it's just all what i think of myself all at one which i had to get one and i love it and i'm thinking about adding something like right in between between it just to like fill in that space like once you get tattoos you're thinking of anything what could fill up a space you just obsessed and guess what i admit it i'm shmika and i'm addicted to getting tattoos and i ain't got no problem admitting it okay so i'll get up and show you my love tattoo and then my girl tattoo so give me one second so i can adjust this camera Alrighty, this is my love tattoo right here. It says, never give up, never lose faith. It's always hopeful and endures all things. I absolutely love my tattoo. And if you can tell, you can see the microphone and the rose and the headphones. I love this tattoo. My next tattoo is the girl tattoo right here. My girl tattoo right here is right here, if you can see it. And I have like her whole close on her eyes with her hair wrapped up and the butterfly. And then it also has like the outline of the African symbol of Africa. I absolutely love this tattoo and I'm going to fill in this space right here that's in between my, um, my other tattoo. So my next tattoo is... 
my tattoo to my grandpa. He died. He died when um in 2014, and I just like if it's any other guy besides my son, these are the only two people that will have their name tattooed on me. So I'm gonna get up and show you that one, and it's like. A roses with like a grandfather like pocket watch I absolutely just love my grandpa and I truly do miss him and anytime I go down to see my grandma my dad's mom I make sure I always stop by his gravesite and say hey because you know I truly do miss him and he's like the one grandpa that I have most memories with I love him so much and I, I truly do miss him so let me show you that one it's on my it's on my cab on the side. Hold on one second. It's right here. And it says Donald Edward Garner right here. I absolutely love my tattoo. It means so much to me. So yes, that is all my tattoos that I have. Um, my next tattoo would be either to fill in that space or I'm going to do like the whole tattoo like Later down the line, like if I ever have kids, I want um the side right here, I want that side to be covered up with like maybe like both of their hands or like footprints. So that's my next tattoo in the future that I'll get. So for right now, I'm done with tattoos that I say unless I think of something else. So that wraps up my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any comments or criticism, you just let me know and it never hurts to have feedback. It's okay with me. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I listen and I even respond back. So like every other video says, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and tell a friend because I'm trying to grow. And you know, I love to talk. So I will be back. So until next time, bye you guys. See you next time.